In this video, I want to talk about the logic behind the way we play scales on the piano, the fingerings, the way that we actually um, place our fingers on the keys and, uh, and, and most easily um, perform those scales. Now, a lot of people start with the C major scale since it uses all the white keys, uh, but we're not going to do that because the C major scale is actually the most awkward, one of the more awkward ones to play. We're going to do B major. And obviously, if we have a seven note scale, a note that a scale that has seven notes in it, but we only have five fingers, we're gonna run into problems. At some point, we need to make a shift, and the way that we do that is through something called the crossover. So um, when I start my B major scale with my thumb on B in my right hand, well, what I'm gonna do next to play C sharp is just use the next finger, D sharp the next finger. But once I get to this point, I'm gonna be doing a black key to white key transition. And when I'm going up in the right hand, this is a perfect place for me to do a cross under with my thumb. So here I'm on D sharp on third finger. One comes under and moves it to E. So let's so I see that again. Having crossed under now, I'll continue up. And if I'm just stopping the scale here, if I'm only playing the scale in one octave, I can just go ahead and use my pinky and then bring it back down again. Now that I'm on E, the place where I crossed under before, I'm right on a finger, so I have to figure out what to do to complete the scale. Because I have three notes left in the scale, I'm gonna to go to my third finger, which is gonna mean that I end up on thumb like I started. So let me play that in two octaves. Once I'm gonna do two octaves, I don't just go to pinky here, but rather bring the thumb under again to allow me to achieve another octave. Now we'll go the way down again. I'm gonna cross over three so that I end up on thumb. Now when I'm doing another octave down here, I'm gonna cross over four onto A sharp because it will allow me to land on E with thumb, the white key transition that I want to then cross over again. Left hand is similar, but basically sort of reverse mirrored what we do with the right hand. I'm actually going to start the B major scale with my fourth finger because that allows me to end my fingerings on thumb on E, which then allows a crossover to fourth finger on the F sharp, which again allows me to wind up on that white key uh, with the thumb. Now, if I'm going to keep going and do another octave, this time, I cross over third finger onto C sharp so that I again land on my thumb on that critical white key, which is where I'm going to make the transition and the crossover all the way up. Now I'm going to head down. I'm on black key going to white key. This is where I bring the thumb under. Keep going. Black key to white key. Thumb comes under. Transition. And now I don't need to do the thumb under because I'm just finishing things off. So that's the basic logic to scale finger transitions, is that when you're going from a black key to a white key, those are the best places, the most natural places to do the kind of thumb crossing or finger crossing over that you need to do in order to execute a scale correctly.